Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my lounge fly bags. And these are all new ones to my collection from the last six months or so. So the first one was actually a gift from the shop Very Nico. And I've recently become a brand ambassador for them, uh, which is why they sent me this as a thank you present. Uh, if you've not been to Very Nico before, um, it's a really cool shop and they sell lots of lounge flies along with um, like Funko Pops and quite a lot of other stuff actually. So a big variety. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave a link to their shop in the description of this video. And you can also use my discount code, which is MissyVN. So if you enter that code, uh, you can save some money. So moving on to the bag they sent me. This is the Cheshire Cat crossbody bag from Loungefly and it's just super cute. So on the front side you've got um, the Cheshire Cat face and on the reverse you've just got the pink stripes and the Loungefly tag. And my favourite part of this bag is the fluffy tail which also doubles up as one of the zip pulls. And on the inside of this bag, it's actually my stuff because I've been using it. <laughs> uh, that's the print. So you've got a nice Cheshire Cat lining and you've got a little open pocket and also a zip up pocket in there as well. And it also comes with a shoulder strap which is actually downstairs, I just realised, um, because I have been using this bag, so I've taken the strap off for now. But there's um, hooks on either end that you can attach the strap to. So you can either use the handles or crossbody bag. Okay, so the next bag is one that I bought from Very Nico, and I think this is an exclusive to them as well. Um, they have quite a lot of exclusive bags that you can only buy in their shop and this was one of them and I also bought it when it had 50% off uh, which was a steal so it's the Fantasia um, mini backpack and the bottom is a red velvet with a yellow uh, like a leather bow across it and the side pockets are red velvet and then the main body of the bag is a nice plain black. So nice and sophisticated, I feel. And on the top, you've got the hat, which is in a blue velvet. And something I didn't realise until I'd had it a couple of days, um, the hat actually lights up, which is pretty cool. So that lifts up and then there's actually a little battery pack hidden um so that's a really cool feature and one that i've not seen on any other bag so far and then while we're on the inside the lining is uh mickey and the moon and stars and there's also a little zip up pocket in there as well and then on the back this one is red velvet and the straps are the like, tan colour of the broomsticks. So that's a really nice uh, simplistic design but with a touch of magic. So the next one I'm going to show you is the Haunted Mansion uh, Tightrope Walker backpack and I didn't realise when I got this that it's actually a re-release of an older bag so I'm not sure when the original one came out um, but I got this one uh, last week, I think, at uh, Funko Europe. So the bag is a kind of satchel style and you've got like a burgundy, um, it's almost like a suede feeling, um, probably faux suede, because everything's faux these days, but um, faux suede with faux fur trim. And then it's got these little uh, buckles which are also faux buckles because you don't actually undo them because it's held with the magnet um, clasps. 
So the main body of the bag is white with the green flowers and on the back you've got that print again and the straps here um, they are actually detachable so you can wear it as a backpack with them in this position or you can also remove them and use the hooks at the top to have it as like a shoulder bag um, and we'll just have a look inside I think this is my favorite feature um, it's got these zips on the side so when you open it it just allows you to um, actually get into the bag a bit more easier because I've got another bag that's in the like, satchel style which is the Anna um, from Frozen backpack and that's really hard to get in the top because the opening is so small so you don't have the difficulty of not being able to fit anything inside because you've got that nice wide opening so on the inside you've got the Haunted Mansion wallpaper print um, in burgundy and pink which is unusual because it's usually black and purple whenever you see it so you've got a zip up pocket on the inside it's also got this really cool uh, parasol um, like charm on the zip on the inside pocket which is a lovely touch and then on the front side there's like an open pocket as well so a couple of extra little pockets for you on the inside so the next bag was exclusive to Amazon I think just in the US but I was able to get it from Double Box Toys and it's the denim mini backpack so this is quite a simple design and I guess the main detail is on the pocket here which is like a quilted um, pattern with little Mickey shaped studs and then the rest of the backpack is uh, denim all over with like light blue uh, leather trim or faux leather trim um, along the edges and around the zip and it's got silver hardware and on the inside the lining is a white and pale blue polka dots and you've also got a zip up pocket on the inside and then the bow is a nice white velvet so the next bag is the purple wool backpack from shop disney uk and i got this in either the black friday sale or the christmas sale and i think it was like 40 percent off which was a good price and this one i quite like because it doesn't scream disney so you could use it every day and like it's not gonna be as obvious as like some of the other bags that i'm gonna show you um but it's got the geometric uh, print on it from the purple wall and it's a really nice color as well like the purple is really nice and vibrant and on the zip you've got a little mickey head and this has got one of the pockets that um opens like from the top as opposed to the zip that goes across the side so it's just easier to access the pocket so it's also got side pockets uh, which have got the white print on and then on the back uh, is purple with like part of the print up the side. So the inside of the bag is like a purple, uh, it's almost like um, constellations, like the patterns they draw for constellations in the sky. But instead of stars, you've got Mickey heads. Okay, so this next one I really wanted at Christmas and I couldn't get it. Um, it was available in the US and they had some on Double Box Toys, but I wasn't quick enough. And then I was like checking every day to see if it had been restocked and it wasn't. So I was really upset. And then, um, then it came to the UK, to Funko Europe. Um, is it January or February? I don't know, it was after Christmas, which was a bit annoying, but I thought I'll get it ready for next year. So it's the uh, Mickey and Minnie gingerbread house bag. And 
I'll just zoom in for a close-up. So on the top here you can see you've got a, uh, a rooftop with little uh, gummy sweets in and then you've got a little window with a mickey shape and actually there's lots of little hidden mickeys on here in all the different candy shapes. Um, these bits are embroidered and then across the top the like icing is kind of like raised as well and then Mickey and Minnie on the front and again it's got the front pocket that um, opens across the top and on the sides you've got little uh, windows for the house and that side has also got the lounge fly plaque so on the back it's plain apart from this little candy cane hut that's in the corner and has Mickey and Minnie uh, peeping out of so the top I'll just show you as well that bit kind of overhangs uh, the main part of the bag and then the lining on this is really pretty you've got lots of Mickey shaped candy canes and um, lots of Christmas treats and it also has a little um, not a zip up pocket but like an open small pocket in there as well and I'm kind of hoping like maybe next year I would like a gingerbread house but um, like in a small square shape like the way they did the um, like Mickey pumpkin that was like a big football I'd like a little square house please and then I can put it on display so lounge fly if if you're watching and you're taking requests that's what I'd like to see next Christmas okay so the next one is from double box toys and um, it was a black Friday bag I can't remember whether the bag had money off or the spirit jersey or I think maybe the spirit jersey had 20% off so I got that and then I thought oh well, I should get the bag and the ears to match but there was a problem with the ears and they never arrived so um, I got the bag and the spirit jersey um, but I'm disappointed I don't have the ears so I don't know if I'll keep the bag because I don't have ears to match it so this is the Mickey uh, popcorn scented bag and I think it's actually this bit of popcorn in the middle that's supposed to be scented but I can't really smell anything to be honest um, I don't have a great sense of smell but I don't know you have to like really go in close to to get any kind of smell so that's a bit disappointing because I'd heard other people say how like the smell was really good but um, I'm not getting it so on the front here that pocket is actually like a little circular one behind the um, popcorn bucket uh, shape and this um, you've kind of got like a vague outline of popcorn shapes on there I don't know if it shows up on camera very well and then the print on the bag uh, I'll show you the back because that's where you can see it best um, it's lots of different coloured uh, popcorn buckets uh, Mickey shaped of course and then it's got side pockets with a red trim on the top and on this side it's also got the lounge fly plaque and it has silver hardware and on the inside you've got the stripy print that's the same as the spirit jersey which I probably should have worn for the video okay so the last one I need to do quickly because my my battery's running out um, so it's the Mickey Waffle backpack and again this is another scented one that I got from Double Box Toys and again I can't really smell it like I guess I guess it's supposed to smell sort of buttery waffly but I get nothing from this even less than the popcorn one at least with that one I could sort of smell something um, so it's kind of similar style to the popcorn one in that it's got the big Mickey 
like shape on the front and that covers like a smaller circular pocket behind it and the print here is the Mickey Waffle all over and the texture of the bag is kind of a like a mottled sort of leather so quite a nice texture and the straps I think are probably my favorite bit as they've got like waffle um like the diamond shape of the waffles and just to have a look inside quickly you've got mickey waffles on a dark brown and i think that is the last bag that i'm showing you today so i'll leave links in the description to all the shops uh, that you can get these from uh, along with the links to where i got all the ears from if you're interested uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.